Infrastructure Investment Trust's IPO opened for the public today. Bidding for the 7,735 crores IPO will close on Monday, 3rd of May, with the lot size earmarked at 1,100 units. The issue is priced at 99 to 100 rupees per unit. Infrastructure Investment Trusts are instruments primarily meant to promote investments in India's infra space by pooling money from investors. In the case of Power Grid Invit, the company has pooled transmission assets and its cash flow would be distributed among its unit holders. The Invit is expected to produce distributable cash flows of around 1,150 crores annually for the next three years, which works out to yield of almost 11% at the offer price of 99 to 100 rupees a unit. Power Grid would maintain 26% stake can offload 74% of its ownership through the Invit. But the Invit would have the opportunity to buy out the remaining 26% stake of Power Grid post the lock-in period of 5 years. The designs of the Invit as an investment vehicle in the listed space was largely to offer a slightly better yield without compromising on the risk compared to a pure debt instrument. The listed Invit will be debt-free post the repayment of debt through the proceeds of the issue. The proceeds of the issues include a fresh issue of close to 5,000 crores that would be used for the repayment of the loan. The company is offering 11 transmission lines with a length of close to 3,699 circuit kilometres, comprising a total transmission capacity of 6,630 MVA. Unlike any other asset, transmission assets offer greater predictability since they have a contractual obligation of about 30 to 35% based on the availability of the systems. The average remaining life of these assets is close to 32 years, which is quite long. But what's more important is the fact that power generation companies and distribution companies have the obligation to pay predetermined charges for use of these assets, which is charged based on the availability and not actual uses. So if the transmission asset offers 99% availability and the users do not fully utilize it, the customer is still supposed to pay based on the availability. These guidelines make the cash flows predictable and therefore for any investor, it gives a secured guarantee. Post-issue, the enterprise value of these assets would be approximately 10,500 crores. And considering that there is going to be no debt, the company would have good headroom to acquire new assets. Power Grid has a large pipeline of under construction and completed tariff-based competitive bidding projects amounting to about 17,000 crores. Projects worth 12,000 crores are under construction and will be completed by the end of FY23. Overall, it's a good vehicle for someone looking for a debt-like instrument offering a little higher yield, particularly in light of its low-risk profile. With protected or secured cash flows, long-term nature of the assets, strong balance sheet, support of the parent and highest credit rating, the issue should reward its unit holders.